In this video, we will show you how to replace your vehicle's exhaust cam position sensor on this Ford F-150 with a 3.5 liter engine. This will be located along the back side of your engine. Let's get into it. Moving along, it's time to safely raise and support the passenger side front of the vehicle so we can remove the wheel. To remove the wheel, you want to remove each of your 21 millimeter lug nuts and we can get this off of here. Now that we have the wheel out of the way, we're going to start dislodging our inside fender liner. We're only dislodging the rearward portion and then we'll fold it forward out of our way. To do this, you're going to find that you have several 5.5 millimeter headed mounting bolts making their way up along the fender, holding this in place. You'll also have a couple push clips that we will dislodge after we've removed each one of our mounting bolts. To dislodge your push clips, you can use a trim tool or even just a flat blade screwdriver if necessary. You just want to get underneath those and pull them out of place. It's common for them to be stuck in place. If that's the case, once it does start removing a little bit and you find you're struggling, you can use some pliers to pull it out. Now that we have the rearward hardware out of this, we can continue on by pushing it inboard, dislodging it from your front fender, and then we'll tuck it in and behind the front rotor. Now with that out of the way, let's have a look along the back side of the engine. With that out of the way, we can see our exhaust camshaft position sensor. It's pretty much right out in the open here. Let's start by disconnecting the electrical connector. For that, it has a small locking tab that will squeeze in. Pull this down and out of place. A quick inspection for corrosion. Now we're just trying to look inside that electrical connector, confirming we do not see any corrosion. This looks okay. Let's continue on to removing that sensor now. Now to remove the camshaft position sensor, you're going to find that you have one 8mm headed mounting bolt. It's on the inboard side of the sensor. Once you have that removed, take hold of the camshaft position sensor we're going to attempt to give it a little twist, breaking it free and pulling it straight out and away from the engine. There it is, friend. Before we install our brand new camshaft position sensor, we want to make sure we clean and inspect the mounting port. For this, I'm just going to use a clean rag, never use any parts cleaner, which could get into the engine. I'm cleaning inside of the port and along where the base is, where that sensor will sit. Okay, let's get ready to install our brand new exhaust camshaft position sensor. You'll find that along where the O-ring is, I added some lubricant here. You can use a little bit of dielectric paste or even some clean motor oil. We'll start sliding this into the engine, pressing it straight forward until it's completely bottomed out and align our mounting bolts whole. That electrical connector should face pretty much straight down. Now, as you can see, this is not completely bottomed out. We're going to continue pressing it in.
Give it a little twist if necessary. Now that the mounting bolt port is properly aligned, we'll start in the mounting bolt, snug it up. The torque for this is 89 inch pounds. Now that that's torqued, we'll just double check, confirming we are properly secured, and continue on with the electrical connector. For the electrical connector, just go ahead and line it up, press it straight up and into the proper position, listen for a click. Double check, make sure it's secured. All right, we've got a little click there. A light tug confirming it's properly secured. It's time to start getting the fender liner back in place. We're going to press this inward. We'll slide it up and in behind the areas of the fender that it needs to sit. Once we have it properly placed, we can continue on with our push clips. Let's line up our push pin holes. We'll press those in. These can be a little tight. You might need to tap them in with a hammer. There we go. All the bolts are started in, let's snug them up. Double check, make sure that's secure. One last quick inspection in this area, we'll reinstall our wheel. Now with the wheel safely back down on the ground, we're going to torque each one of our lug nuts to 150 foot-pounds in a crisscross manner. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.